In an era where we can work remotely from anywhere in the world, why would you choose to live in small town Alberta like us? We've all been there. Googling how to live and work in an oceanside villa or some cabin in a gorgeous mountainside town. With work from home, we can literally live anywhere. There's a solid Wi-Fi connection or good coffee nearby. Why did we decide to live smack dab in the middle of Alberta, surrounded by prairies and parkland? What's up, guys? We're Mike and Andrea from the YouTube channel Red Deer's Realtor. I'm a realtor, Andrea's a content creator, and we're now getting into our newest venture, a YouTube show called Donuts and Diesels. If you're new to Red Deer, or you just want to get a local's perspective, keep watching. And we'll share with you why we think Red Deer is Alberta's next best city. So why the name Donuts and Diesels? Well, if you're from Red Deer, you'll probably get it. Red Deer is located in between Alberta's two largest cities, Edmonton and Calgary. It's about 150 kilometers to either city, Edmonton being in the north of Red Deer and Calgary in the south. It takes about an hour and a half to get to either city if you drive like me, and about two hours if you park it in cruise control at smooth 105 all the way like Andrea. I don't like speeding, and I don't even want the police to think I'm thinking of speeding. Going back to my geographical reference about Red Deer and why we picked the name of the show, when you finally make it here, Along the highway, there's this pit stop, a stretch of land where you can get out and gas up your vehicle or grab a bite to eat. It's called Gasoline Alley. It's just a street of gas stations, fast food chains, and Costco. But at the end of the strip, there's also this magical place that's world famous. You'll see it off in the distance, glistening in the sun. You'll know you're at the right place when you see the incredibly random windmill along Highway 2. It's known as the Donut Mill. They have an insane assortment of donuts, and when we tell people we're from Red Deer, they often bring up their own nostalgic experience with this fine establishment. Gasoline Alley and the mill are perfect symbols of what Red Deer is all about. Donuts, donuts and, and diesels. diesels. Well, not really, but this show really is all about Red Deer. We are gonna focus on the inside scoop of Red Deer in Central Alberta. The important stuff, like what keeps people here. The good things only locals know about, and none of that garbage they hear about on the news. Most of you know that I was born and raised here. I spent my first 18 years living in Red Deer and then left town for a few years, as many do, to try and find greener pastures, so to speak. So what did I do? I packed up and left town to ski bum it for a bit, and after watching too many CSI Miami episodes and thinking I could be mm. the world's greatest forensic scientist, I headed to the University of Calgary. Found out after finishing my degree, of course, that you can't actually get a job as a forensic scientist. That's not really a thing here in Alberta. So instead, I had to get a job working as an environmental consultant. I only wasted a couple years working a 9-to-5 office job before asking my dad, who is a well-respected and highly established realtor in town, if I could give real estate a try. But the obvious catch was that I would have to move back to Red Deer. Let's be honest. People think if you live in Red Deer, you're either just born and raised here and never left, or you have an amazing opportunity. There might be some truth to that, because the opportunity is really what brought us back. But it's all the amazing people we've met along the way, plus steady work in a growing community of entrepreneurs who also saw that opportunity. That's why we stayed. It is not all sunshine and rainbows. There have been some ups and downs. 2020 was a terrible year for us, and I'll link that video for that story here. But we adapted to Red Deer. We challenged Red Deer. We explored further around Red Deer. We found pockets of people like us, and we grew our roots here, and we are thriving. And now it's our turn to share that local knowledge with you. The good, the bad, the lifestyle, the costs. We want to show you all the background stuff that only locals know about. But my honest inside opinion on what makes Red Deer so good? It's the opportunity. We aren't tapped out yet like other cities. There's space here to be an entrepreneur and start something amazing. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's plenty of great stuff about Red Deer, and our next episode is going to be all about that. Comment down below on what you'd like to know about Red Deer, and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to be notified of future episodes. And we will make sure we answer your questions and give you the most personalized, in-depth version of what living in Red Deer is all about. Also, don't forget, I'm a licensed realtor in Red Deer, Alberta, and work in all of Central Alberta. So if you have any questions about anything real estate related, let me know. 